Hey, how's it going, y'all? It's Don, and today we are going to be doing something just a little different on the channel, okay? Not, not a VR game, not a VR headset, not really a VR anything, but possibly. So today we're going to be taking a look at the Drop Labs EP01 haptic shoes. That's right, haptic shoes, shoes that buzz. So I can't thank Drop Labs enough for sending this over so we can test and play with it. Now, for today's video, probably just gonna go ahead and do the unboxing. We're gonna get a little setup going and then I'll give you my first raw impressions. So let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the box and see what's in there. But before we do, I, I, I gotta comment, the packaging itself is very, very nice. I, I don't know if the camera's picking it up well, but it's got this nice texturing to it. So it's not your typical manila, you know, just plain Jane box. So obviously you've got your product information here on the side. I'm not gonna bore everybody by going through all that. You guys came to see what's in this thing. So let's do it. All right, ah, oh, there we go. Oh, cool. All right, once again, premium packaging. You got like trippy tie-dye psychedelic art looking stuff here so um first thing we see everything is in a foil wrapping um that is very cool and we've got a thank you card here uh thank you card says uh, we hope you love our product uh share obviously using their half uh, their hashtags which you guys are going to see all over my posts um and of course if you're having trouble getting started they 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 give you the support address to go to uh so we've got the contents are going to be the shoes uh we've got a uh, a shoe bag that they come with a quick start guide and our charger now mine also i believe uh contains a couple of extra pieces uh, and I'll tell you a little bit of cool information about that uh, later as the video progresses or where you might be able to get one of those extra pieces at a cool discount. So, um, all right, let's do it. Oh, there he goes. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. There is the first shoe. So it is the the right shoe oh wow okay so first and foremost the material feels super super premium nice nice stretchiness to it um, love the color it is a very very deep black and then just broken up by that white striping there um, the 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 tread is is really good and obviously you can see the red circle here that is most likely uh, the 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 apex of everything where you're gonna feel that uh, that bounce and speaking of that when I hit it I don't know if you can hear that Bow, bow, bow. It, it actually has a bounce to it that that is really 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 cool so all right let's get that out of there and kind of feel the interior oh wow that's soft oh that feels really really good on the inside so all right uh her shoe is out of the box that is great before we get to the second shoe, let's see what's in here. So this is a, a little bit of an extra accessory. Now, normally when you order, uh, you would not get this in the box. Uh, th this is the gaming cable kit. So they do sell this extra on the website. But this is what you're gonna need if you want to, uh, say, connect these to your uh, Xbox controller or your, your, your PC or your, uh, obviously, your Oculus Quest. I mean, we're gonna do that here in a little while. You can actually do a wired connection to the magnetic ports on the backs of the shoes. Now, what's cool is, is if you look in the description, there's gonna be 
a code that you can put in should you want to buy the shoes. You're actually going to get this included at no additional charge by using code VRGAMERDUDE. So, alright, enough about that. Set that aside now. And let's see what we have here. Um, okay, interesting. So, um, this looks to be a, a pair of socks. Uh, I did not expect a pair of socks. Uh, that is cool. That is not on the packing list. So I'm also thinking those might be uh, an extra. So let's go ahead and uh, cut it open here. Snips. There we go. Set those down. Because, yeah, we want to take a look at the socks. Those are cool socks. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, very, very nice feel. So, awesome. Looks like we got a little card here. So, uh, let's see here. Our love language is socks. So here's a pair to say thanks. You're one of the first people to experience EPO1 and your feedback will help shape the future of our tech. Be sure to hit us up on IG, Instagram, Discord, and everywhere good social is posted. At Drop Labs, hashtag Life Amplified. So awesome, awesome little gift, a little, a little uh, Easter egg in the box there. So thank you, Drop Labs, that is cool. Also, sorry, a little sticker there. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. So that, that, that came in the gaming kit. Uh, so all right, here we go. There is the other shoe, second uh, verse, same as the first here. Uh, we've already gotten a pretty good extensive look at the shoe. Um, now one thing we didn't do is we didn't turn it on. Um, they do have a, a lighted LED on the back, uh, which is very, very cool. Um, found out a little unfortunateness uh, that uh, if I'm using Android, which I am, I cannot change the color of that just yet. Uh, so uh, they are working on that. Uh, if you have iOS, if you're an Apple user, you actually now can uh, use a color wheel and uh, change the color of that LED to your liking. So let's go ahead and turn that back off and uh, see if there's anything else in the box. So moving down to the bottom here silica gel and a little compartment and more stuff so another drop labs sticker uh, this is the uh, quick start guide and we will get into all of that I'm going to show you guys all of the setup for this here in a moment um, there is the shoe bag um, so they do include a bag to store the EPO ones in and uh, I gotta say it is a nice bag um, so very cool if you're gonna be traveling um, you can actually uh, put your uh, haptic shoes in the bag and, and they'll be nice and safe so last but not least uh, looks like a charger this is not an ordinary charger it's not gonna be USB-C it's not going to be um, it's not gonna be uh, anything standard it is a, a magnetic charging system where these attach to the back of the shoe like so there we go okay so now we've got them unboxed let's go ahead and get them set up so first thing we got to do we got to go ahead and download an app on our phone now I am an Android user I use an, an older Android phone here uh, this is also available for iOS uh, in fact it is preferred on iOS you guys even get like a cool color wheel where you can change the lights on the back of the shoes that is coming for Android soon hopefully so let's go ahead and uh, jump over to the Play Store for me um, so jumping into the Play Store here we're gonna search for the Drop Labs app uh, to save time on the video I went ahead and already installed that so we can go ahead and get it opened up now go ahead and open it up 
And there you go. You can see we are now in the app, but we are still not connected to the shoes. So there's one step that we have not done yet, and that's we need to pair the shoes to the phone Bluetooth. So in order to do that, pretty simple. Um, you just go into your Bluetooth settings here, go into connections, Bluetooth, and you can turn your Bluetooth on if it is not already. And now we just need to power the shoes on. So we'll go ahead and power them on here. And uh, now we will get them into pairing mode. And there we go. Now we are in pairing mode and we should get a message on the phone here. Yes, pair with the Drop Labs EP01. We're going to say OK. And now you're going to see connected for audio. So once that is connected, now we can go back into the Drop Labs app and we should have connection to the shoes. Okay. And now they are connected, but you can see it does say connection problems, and that's because we have one last step, and that is to connect our Bluetooth earbuds. For that, I am using the One More Piston Buds, and man, I got to tell you, those guys sent me a pair of these. I love these headphones. They are super light. They are super crisp. They sound excellent. They hold a charge. They, they sound phenomenal when I talk on my phones. So got to give a shout out to those guys as well. Thank you one more for sending me the Piston Buds. I use these every day. I highly recommend these. So the last step, let's go ahead and tell it to connect to my Piston Buds. We'll go ahead and take those out. We'll get them popped in. go and now they are connected um, and we are ready to go at this point now since we're in here I am going to show you guys quickly a couple more pieces of the app so in the app here we have some filters and and these are pretty cool these allow us to change the sound stage going to the shoes so let's say I want it to be much more bassy here I'm gonna to go to velvet uh, I want to bring up those low mids and and the highs a little bit more I'm gonna to go to bright uh, seismic designed for FPS games we will be testing that out in some onward here in a little while so can't wait for that but anyway at this point now let's test the shoes all right, so we are finally ready to test these things. And man, I got to tell you, I am super, super excited for this. So the shoes are on. They feel comfortable. Uh, they feel like a standard pair of tennis shoes, a little extra weight. Uh, but man, I don't know. I, I could definitely see myself wearing these shoes. So, all right, here it is. Uh, this is the moment of truth. So we're going to get to some VR testing real real soon, guys. But, but first, I'm just going to test it in the app the way that it is meant to be experienced. So um, real quick, we do have a slider here so we can adjust the intensity of the shoes. And you know what? For my first time trying these, I am going full boat. So all right, let's go. I'm jump into my Pandora playlist here. Ooh, right there, Blue Monday. Perfect. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. Okay. I don't know if you guys can hear that on the microphone. Dun, dun, dun. It's like perfectly, perfectly in sync with with the audio. And I mean, it is. Oh, wow. This is. <laughs> that's the, oh, sorry. Hold on. Um. So, okay, it's exactly like they kind of described it to me. It is like you are standing on the floor at a concert or in like a really, really, really hopping club, man. Oh, and you are feeling that bass coming up through your feet. It, that is nuts. Oh, and I can even feel it in my knees if I touch them with my hands. Oh, that's wild. 
Okay, so as you can plainly see, audio just blew my mind. I was not expecting these shoes to add as much immersion into just listening to some of my favorite music as they did. Now, obviously, that was their original intention. I mean, that's what these were designed to do. But we're here to see if they can work with virtual reality and especially virtual reality gaming. Now, in order to do that, we are going to have to do something different and that is unfortunately at this point going back on a wire. Uh, the shoes do not have wireless capability to say the Oculus Quest or you know to your PC at this point. You can make it happen. I, I did experiment with this but it was just way too much latency. So Drop Labs had already come out with a low latency gaming cable for hooking up to an Xbox controller or hooking up to your phone to do some mobile gaming or some seated console gaming well obviously off the bat works great just plug it into the quest you know if you're doing any seated stuff like watch a movie you know uh, any of the seated gaming but Room scale gaming, eh, that was a little bit of a stretch, guys, because unfortunately, since this was not designed with virtual reality in mind, it is about two feet too short. Uh, you don't have enough slack. You can just, just make it to the headphone port, and I'm 5'11", so, you know, it, it is about a six-foot cable. So, in order to fix that, obviously, real easy solution. Just get you a little short extender cord, TRRS, or what they call the four pole uh, extension um, and you're going to get fixed up. It's no big deal and really the wire running down your back, not that uncomfortable once you've got enough slack. So I'm not going to really knock them. They are working on wireless. I might actually even be helping them work on that wireless solution. So hopefully that's coming soon for existing Drop Labs owners and future Drop Labs purchasers. So without further ado, let's finally test this thing with a VR headset. All right, so now we've got the shoes all wired up for gaming. And, you know, I say wired up for gaming because now I'm, I'm actually standing up. I'm going to be a little more active, so I don't want that wire. So I'm, I'm using the, uh, the four-foot Cable Matters extension cord that I mentioned earlier. And I actually ran the cable through my clothing. I mean, you know, it, it makes a Y split, so I just, I just ran it right down the backs of my pants. And that seemed to work really well. Uh, it feels completely wireless now. I, I don't feel any tug, and, and now I can completely freely move until Drop Labs comes up with a better wireless solution. Okay, so here we are. We're finally going to play some Onward. I, I've been chomping at the bit to try these shoes with, you know, an FPS game. Something that's going to have explosions, you know. Something's going to be, you know, worthy of, 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 of rumbling my feet, so to speak. So, uh, before we do, though, I am going to go ahead and jump over into the Drop Labs app. Now, even though I am wired and you can't see that because I did run it through my clothing... Um, I, I am wired to both shoes. Uh, uh, I am going to go ahead and uh, use the Drop Labs app on the phone because it is still connected to the shoes Bluetooth for control purposes. So getting the audio from the Quest, but I'm able to control the Drop Labs app right here on my phone. So that, that means I can control the intensity of the shoes and I can select the uh, seismic filter, which you see is, is designed for FPS games. So, all right, let's go ahead and choose a side and uh, get going. So, so right now the shoes are, are not really doing much. I, I do feel, oh, oh, I felt that. Okay, like a little rumble off in the distance, and that's cool because it was very, very subtle. It, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't a, a like, oh, okay, it just buzzed. Uh, so, props for that. All right. See if I can get into a firefight here. Whoa! Oh, okay, now I did feel that. Whoa. Okay, that intensely buzzed. 
that was good. Um, however, you know, okay, I'm going to say, realistically speaking, and, you know, I know we're not going for completely realistic haptics here. Um, there you are. Did I get you? Yes, I got you. Oh, no, shit. <laughs> so, anyway, like, uh, Oh, and I was out of bullets. So, you know, like I was saying, I, I'm not going for completely realistic haptics here, but, but I don't know, you, you really wouldn't feel a, a gun fire that much in your feet, but um, for gaming purposes, yeah, it feels really cool. So, let's try again. And you know, they, they do have independent left and right stereo, so it, it I don't know, it, it would be great, oh, oh wait, okay, that, wait, that's a cool effect, I hope nobody comes and tries to shoot at me because I want to talk about this for a second. Okay, right now I'm kind of feeling that, that, that diesel engine over there running, and, and I'm, I'm kind of feeling it through the ground, and as I get closer, it, and it gets louder, it, it, the, the intensity does increase and and wow that okay that is an interesting effect okay so right there yes i i do see and and yes now i'm so far away from it that the end the, the feeling is gone and the shoes are back to being silent so you know it it, it definitely works i mean it it definitely works and 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 is it enhancing my presence a little bit in the game yeah right, right now just just like running up on that tank like i said that that is totally enhancing my presence and ooh. the cool factor is great But is it something that I could live without? Yeah. Um, is it something that I want to live without now that I'm using it? No. If that makes any sense. Because I'm already starting to... I'm already starting to have my mind race right now about how cool this is going to be when I get it all synced up with the with the B haptics taps. Ta oh, oh, felt that explosion. That was cool. Oh, okay, that's neat. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Don't don't nobody shoot because I got to talk. Okay, that is cool. I'm feeling my heartbeat. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. And, and 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 it is now now going through my legs and and, and kind of coming up. So I, I okay. think I think we get the gist. Uh, big explosions feel cool. The heartbeat feels cool. Walking up to and and away from a large diesel tanks and things like that. I mean it, that actually enhanced the realism. So I don't know. Huh. Let's try it in a different sort of game, shall we? Let's let's try it. Uh, wonder if it would enhance the realism of a simulator game. Hmm. All right, let's do this. Oh, this is gonna be cool. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Okay, so so you know how like when you're on a roller coaster, you can kind of feel that vibration of the chain underneath the the, the track. Oh wow, um, yeah, I'm I'm now I'm feeling that in my feet. Uh, so that is a trip. Oh okay, so here is one area that I I am gonna say this already is is giving me some some serious immersion boost uh, oh my goodness oh, oh, Lord. oh my gosh because I'm getting a little bit of rumble from the simulator I'm, I'm, I'm now I'm 
feeling that that feeling that you would have if you got your feet planted to the the deck plate of the the roller coaster. And, oh wow, now it's tracking perfect with the motion. Ooh, I need to put on the haptic vest for this one too. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh man. Do not recommend doing this if you are prone to motion sickness. <laughs> but I never in a million years thought a pair of shoes could make that even cooler than it is in a motion simulator. But there you have it. Okay, so there you have it, guys. We have unboxed them. We have set them up. We have tested them in some games. Now, it is time for me to give my final thoughts on the EPO1s from Drop Labs. And, you know, I got to say, my final thoughts are they are cool. The, these are probably the coolest tennis shoes I've ever seen in my life. Now, are they $300 cool? Well, it really depends on you. I, it really does. I mean, if you've got the disposable income and you are looking for something that is totally a conversation starter, um, something that is interesting and, and adds a new layer of immersion to music, movies, and gaming that, that, that you never thought of before, I, that's the best thing I, I could. I had never thought of it before. I, vibrating in my feet who would have thought it but it did actually add something it added something to the music listening for sure it added something to the movie watching for sure and in virtual reality gaming in ways it did add something now not totally it, it is it is sort of dumb haptics guys it's not be haptics it's not targeted it's a single subwoofer so there's only so much it can do Walking up to the tank thing was cool, as you saw. I mean, as I got closer, it, it felt like the ground was rumbling harder underneath my feet, as you would expect coming up to a huge tank that's, that's idling. But shooting a gun, I'm not going to feel it that hard in my legs and my feet. And it was like, oh, well, the, the gun was coming up through the floor. So it, it is a mixed bag when it's not targeted haptics, when developers don't actually code for it and, and give you the sensations that are meant for the game. So that's where I've got to say if you don't have a disposable income, I'm not going to recommend that you just jump out and buy these. But if you do, yeah, it's cool. It's a cool gadget. I do like them and I cannot thank Drop Labs enough. For sending them out now um, one thing I will caution you about before I let you go here today if you do decide to order them and I will have a, a link in the description where you can do so and, and please use that link if you don't mind helps me out a little bit um, it, order a size larger than you think if you are a half size uh, I am a ten and a half wide and they do not do half sizes so I originally went with a size 10 which is what you guys saw in the video um, that did not fit uh, luckily the guys at drop labs were phenomenal and they got those swapped out for me and you get to see the other color because of that so these are the triple black and uh, these are now in a size 11 because the tens were just a little too tight across the top of my foot so triple black looks really cool this is a little actually more my style i think it's going to pair better with the b haptics tax suit when we get to doing that video later on down the road keep looking for that full body immersion I'm gonna do the shoes, gonna do the suit, gonna do the walk of VR, it's gonna maybe throw in the DECA move, it's gonna be nuts. So if this is your first time coming by, make sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you get notified when I do something cool like that. But for me, guys, I think that's it. I, I My verdict, I love these shoes. These are really cool shoes. They're not super killer shoes. They're, they're not going to be, oh my God, next level shoes. But they definitely add some immersion. And I, I like them. So for me, that's going to do it. Thanks a lot. I'll see you in the next one. This is Don, signing off.